you guys this is Colby uh, today I'm going to show you how to make the belts for the clone trooper uh, pretty much we're just going to start off with this piece and the main belts uh, this little attachment a little box let's get started we're going to start off by creating the main uh, strap that goes around the entire body underneath all these pieces it's kind of hard to see uh, but basically we're going to be using front view side view and back view uh, later see here we'll uh, switch over to this in a bit but for now we're just going to focus on the front side which is over here so basically what i'm going to do is right click on these points shift right click press shift a mesh and we're going to create a cylinder let's zoom out a bit so i'm going to stay in front view and press s z and just drag my mouse inward a bit see how the whole thing down and we, you know, press S, Z, and make it a bit taller, just matching it to the reference here. Make it about this wide. Go to back view, or side view, I mean. You can grab it forward. Press S, then Y, and move the piece. Uh, make it a bit shorter. Get to right about here. And there you go. Now, I'm going to go into edit mode on this piece. Go into edit mode. We're going to create two edge loops. One at the top, one at the bottom. So press Control R, right down the middle. Scroll up with your mouse one time. Left click twice. Uh, now we have them both selected. Press S and then Z and then move them, uh, pretty much scale them apart from each other. So we're basically creating this little gap. It's like a little bit of a, I guess you could say like a, an inward part. It's kind of hard to describe. Just match to the reference. Go back to object mode and scale the whole piece down a bit if you need to. But we're basically creating this little central section of the belts. So now we're going to select this middle section. So I'm going to go into face mode, press 3 on my keyboard, hold down shift and alt and select this set of uh, faces around the middle section. You can click right here, right here, right here. It, uh, just click on one of these vertical lines. We have them now selected. Now we press E and then S to scale it downward a bit and extrude inward. Just like that. So now I'm just going to go back into object mode and I'm going to go to this button here, turn on auto smooth, the whole piece, right click, shade smooth, and now it should look a lot better. Looks pretty clean. Go back into edit mode on the piece. It's like the top face and the bottom. I'll hold down shift, it's like both. Press I to inset. And this is going to be pretty much that wraps around the entire body. And now what I'm going to do is right click and we're going to actually go into edge mode. My bad. So go into edge mode first, right click and bridge edge loops. It's now it's pretty much it has a hole down the center of the piece. So that way it can wrap around the body. So at this point, you can turn on subdivision modifier if you want to, to turn up the poly counts to make it a little bit nicer. Uh, but for now, I think it looks fine. I'm just going to keep it as it is without it. Instead, uh, so now we're going to just work on these little boxes in the fronts. So there's like four. There's one here, one right here, one here, and one here on the reference. So four little boxes. Uh, basically, this box right here is basically on the inside of the piece. So it'd be basically uh, in between these little walls here. But these other three boxes are actually on the outside. I'll, no I'll show you what I mean. Nope. I'm going to have this be selected. Press Shift A, Mesh. Let's create a cube. Scale down, S, drag the mouse. Pretty much match to the size of the reference here. So you can move it into position, turn on wireframe mode. You can press Z on your keyboard, turn on wireframe. And you can switch back to solid after. Uh, but basically, we need to move this piece to the front of the belts. Let's move it over here. And we need to make it a bit skinnier. It's S, Y, make it a bit skinnier. Do the same on the X axis. It's S, X, and make it a bit uh, shorter. And so now, what we're going to do is move this piece into position right here. just kind of match to the reference 
Oops, S, Z, I might make it a bit taller. Rotate it a bit to so R, Z. And rotate it on the Z axis. That's one of these boxes here. We're going to do the same basically for the other boxes. So we're just going to take this uh, box that we have now and duplicate it a couple more times. So with this box selected, you can press Shift D to duplicate. Again, right here, move it into position. Press R, Z, and just rotate it, rotate it to match the uh, rotation of the belts where it is. I want you to do the same again two more times. So Shift D, do duplicates. Let's move it right here. And this one is going to be on the inside, as I was saying before. So rotate it and scale down a bit. So we're just going to basically move it to the inside a bit more. Kind of like this. And they do it again one more time. I'm going to duplicate this one and move it over here. Rotate it, move it to position, and match the uh, rotation of the belts. So there we go. Match the reference a little bit better. So we have the front side of the belt done, uh, but now we're going to work on the back. So what I'm going to do now is go to front view and then press 9 on my uh, numpad. After pressing 1, you can also press the green uh, button here to switch between front and back. If you're in front, it will say front orthographic right here. If you're in back view, it will say back orthographic. And so what I'm going to do is grab this reference, move it into a better position. So pretty much we're going to be using this side of the reference. And so now I'm going to move this piece in front of our belt, so that way we can see the back of it. Go back to back view and just match the reference. Should be looking right about here. It's kind of hard to see what we're going to be modeling, but basically we're just going to be modeling these little lines here. So this is one uh, row, another row, and another. So what I mean by that is if you hide, unhide your pieces, I already have something done in the works, but basically we're just modeling three little lines on the back of the piece. So to get started, you can go to edit mode on your piece. And what I'm going to do is go to back view and kind of see the uh, length of what the piece is going to be. So it goes all the way from over here. Just shift and select all these faces in face mode. And do the same pretty much on each side. That looks good. So what I'm going to do is press Shift D to duplicate. Left click, press P to separate, and press by separation or set selection. Now I have an extra piece that's duplicated. So what we're going to do is add a solidify modifier to this piece. So go into object mode and add solidify modifier. Turn up the thickness a bit. And I'll move this piece down a bit. So right about here. I might move it a bit inward. But basically, we're going to duplicate this piece two more times. So press Shift D to duplicate twice. I'm just moving like three of them. So there we go. So, as a bonus step, I'm just going to move this piece back. And we're going to be modeling these little boxes here on the side of the belts on the front side. Just these two big boxes. Uh, see what I'm talking about is this piece here. It's actually not too hard to make. Just a couple uh, Boolean modifiers on top of just using some simple shapes. So I'm going to create a cube. Shift A, mesh. Let's create a cube. Scale it down. I'm going to make it, let me just move it into this position here. Let's move it forward a bit. Now what we're going to do is make it a bit skinnier on the Y axis. So S, Z. Also make it a bit uh, shorter on the x-axis. It's so now I'm going to edit mode on the piece. I'm going to grab this edge right here on the top front and move it down a bit. So that way we create a little bit of an angular uh, face on the top. So you can see on the box here, there's a bit of an angle. It's so now we're going to gra grab this bottom face here. Press I to inset and drag your mouse inward. Left click, 
press E to extrude, and Z, move it down. So actually, EZ doesn't work, but once you have a face extruded, just uh, left click and then move it down with your mouse by pressing G. So let's press G and move down. Grab its bottom face, press S, and scale down a tad bits. So here we go. So now it has a, if you look at the piece a bit more closely on the reference, it actually kind of curves upward a bit. Uh, what I mean by that, if we go into edit mode on this piece, we just need to grab this edge and move it up a bit. Kind of like that. So now we need to cut out these little shapes on the reference. So if you look at the piece on the reference here, you can see this little shape that's cut out on the front face. So how to do that, I'll show you real quick. So I'm going to go into edit mode on the piece. I'm going to select this face on the front, press shift S, cursor to selected, go back to object mode. I'm going to create a new mesh, shift A, mesh, let's create a cube, and scale it down. This is going to be our cutter. So what we need to do is scale this piece down a bit. Just imagine that this piece is going to cut out a hole in this piece on the front side. So make sure that it's clipping slightly through it, just like this. You don't want it to be all the way through, just a little bit. Press S, X, and move it down. Let's scale it wider. And we need to extrude two little uh, forks that go on the bottom here. Let's go into edit mode on the piece. Control R. Uh, left click. I'm going to actually drag my mouse uh, upward. So I'm going to create two edge loops, control R, scroll up with your mouse wheel, create two, S and X, scale and wider apart, make them evenly thick. I'm going to grab this edge, this face and this face in edge, uh, face mode, press E to extrude, and grab these down. So it's G and then Z to move them down a bit, just like that. Here, I'm just kind of matching this piece to the reference. So we had this piece done. Now we need to create the little holes. Right here, the two little holes on the piece. So what we do for that is basically create a little piece right about here. So shift A, create a cube, scale it down again. Move it into this position, get a little bit wider. We're going to bevel the top corners here. So go into edit mode on the piece, hold down shift uh, in edge mode, and select these two top edges. Press Control B to bevel. So I would create a little bit of a roundness. I'm going to duplicate this piece one more time. Just move it right about here. Uh, we also need to edit the shape of this piece a bit. Let's grab this top face here, move it right about here, match the angle. Do the same here. So now we're just going to start joining all these pieces together in object mode. So select this piece, hold down shift. Select this piece as well as this one here. Press Control J to join all of them together into one piece. And so now we need to add a Boolean modifier to this piece in the back. Add Boolean and set the object as the new piece that we just created for the cutter. So now if you apply, click on the arrow, press apply, move this piece out of the way. You can see that we now have a custom shape cut out from this piece that we just made. Hide this piece, we can move this into position here on the belt. Rotate it a bit and pretty much move it right about here. Scale it up a bit to match to the reference. 
just like that. Uh, so now to symmetrize it across to the other side of the belt, just add a mirror modifier to the piece and set the targets or the mirror object as the belt. It's that way it's symmetri uh, symmetrical across. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. Uh, next time, we'll basically be making other attachments to the side of the belts. So you look at the side on the reference here, you can see all these other little pieces. Uh, I'll probably do multiple videos for each piece because this is a bit more complicated. Uh, each video will probably be covering a different section of the belts. I'd say the belt is probably the most detailed part of the entire character. Uh, so if you can make the belt, then you'll be good for pretty much the entire character as well. Other than that, I hope you guys found this video useful and see you guys next time.